Since 1913, Children's Medical Center in Dallas has had one mission, making life better for children. Over the years, we've grown with the communities we serve, following a philosophy of whole family care. As an organization with a high technology adoption rate, Children's Medical Center in Dallas continually works to improve patient care through the use of technology. Children's Medical Center Dallas, the Office of the National Coordinator, Verizon, and Microsoft Health Vault have formed a unique partnership with a groundbreaking portable health record pilot program. Technology is at a point now where uh, really we have a moral obligation to harness it and to make the lives better for patients. Smartphones and other handheld devices have made the world a much smaller place. So Children's looks to leverage these technologies to benefit our patients. Under state and federal law, patients have a right to copies of their own medical records. And providing that data to patients in an electronically usable form is a great way to empower them not only to be stewards of their own data, taking it with them to other healthcare providers, but also engaging them more actively in their own care. We're really excited when we got the call from Children's and from uh, ONC about this project because what they're trying to do is exactly in the wheelhouse of what we're trying to do. Verizon is excited to work on the personal health record pilot because our technology allows patients to have easy and convenient access to their health information so they can take a more active role managing their condition. The Office of the National Coordinator is charged with ensuring health records are accessible to patients on their terms. The patient health record concept was developed to facilitate consumer-mediated exchange and provide a secure electronic means for patients to access their medical records. This pilot at Children's Medical Center is allowing patients to receive all of their health data into the Microsoft Health Vault personal health record. Meaning the patient would then own their medical record and carry it to other care providers in the continuum. When the ONC approached Children's, we recognized the benefit the program could provide to our patients. We put out a broad call for participants and received several responses from interested healthcare organizations. Of those that responded, Children's Medical Center has been by far the most energetic in their embrace of this project. While we remain optimistic that additional organizations will come online with similar initiatives, Children's Medical Center has shown an impressive ability to push through even the most historically difficult obstacles. We started our conversations with Children's. They were so proactive and excited about being the first hospital in the country to do this. When we began on this journey, people thought, oh, well, this is a lot of technology. This is going to be a huge technology endeavor. Well, in all reality, it's not a technology endeavor. It's more of a process endeavor. Children's was able to establish workflows and processes that ensured compliance with HIPAA regulations while meeting pilot program requirements. Privacy and security is the most critical element. The direct transport protocols that actually make this data move, uh, all the data is encrypted. We also have worked very hard with the Office of Civil Rights to ensure that everything we're doing is HIPAA compliant. How do you make sure that the right health information is available to the right person at the right time? And that can just be really convenient, like when you are enrolling at school and you have an immunization list available on your phone, or it can be incredibly important, like when you're at the emergency room and you need to have an allergy list and a medication list. Um, actually sending this document to the patient's health record is very simple. Um, I go on a website, it's called our patient drop site, then I just choose the document and I click send to health vault and it's there. The patient will then log into their Hotmail account. They will see an email and it says, uh, you have health information ready for pickup. So they will open that email and it, there's a link. In that link, they just click it, they answer the verification question that we worked on together. And then the information will be automatically uploaded into their health vault. Children's and the ONC identified a patient population and physician champion for the project. We were able to identify a particular population at Children's, in this case, children with sickle cell anemia. We thought it made sense to roll it out to patients who were routinely receiving care at, at a place other than our own center. 
um, where they were receiving care from providers who may not necessarily have access to our records uh, and who may not necessarily have an expertise in the condition uh, that's affecting the child who's right in front of them. And that importance just goes up when you have more complex conditions like sickle cell, where you have many providers, many treatments, and over a long, long period of time. We see time and again that it's just not possible for families to retain all the very complicated information um, you know, related to their diagnosis uh, and its treatment. I, I see tangible benefits uh, in um, the family, first of all, having access to that information, to, but then I also think it's going to benefit them when it comes down to the actual care. Local emergency room physicians, local primary care physicians will be happy to have that access and actually be able to deliver more informed and, and better care uh, to these patients as a result of having that uh, access to their health information. Considering our providers' high technology adoption rate and the changing care models, now more than ever we have had the opportunity to revolutionize care, enhance the patient experience, and facilitate communication, that important communication between physicians and patients that will improve the continuity of care. We're really looking at uh, the first time we have seen technology transform the experience from the patient side. The project team began working on patient accessibility. Verizon donated iPhones to ensure the program could move forward and involve a larger number of participants. Children's Medical Center approached Verizon about the PHR pilot. Our team responded quickly. We understood that Verizon technology in the hands of children specialists could help them efficiently deliver care to children suffering from sickle cell disease. Looking into the future, we see opportunities to expand the personal health record initiative, not only in terms of meeting meaningful use requirements, but more importantly in meeting our patients' needs to have convenient access to their medical record. Mobile technology can empower hospitals, like Children's, to extend the reach of care they deliver to their patients. Verizon's network can provide fast, secure, and reliable access to patient medical information. I think this is so great because uh, the patient doesn't always have all of their medical records on hand. It's very difficult to get. It's a little easier. They can bring it on their iPad, they can have it on their laptop, but most importantly, they can have it on their cell phone. Children's is a learning hospital, and that's not limited to physicians and clinical staff. The culture of learning spans the entire organization. It makes us an attractive partner for new initiatives. Partnerships like the Personal Health Record Project with the OMC enable us to engage with the government, learn from their experience, and share our own with them. We've really enjoyed the collaboration with them. Um, we are proud of the solution that has been put together here, and we just can't wait to see it in the hands of real kids and, and real families. Children's Medical Center has shown an impressive ability to push through even the most historically difficult obstacles. We've just found them to, to be amazing, and uh, really they're helping us fulfill the vision of consumer-mediated exchange while also uh, offering these children and their caregivers uh, a whole new way to manage their care.